it is Welcome Back Debbie and we've got another month of summer ahead of us and you've been checking out one of the country's most popular spots. Yeah I have, morning Mel. When it comes to sort of family holidays I started thinking if the kids aren't happy no one's happy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I went on to booking.com because they've just done this amazing international survey asking kids what do you want. So here's what happened. How do you decide where to go for your next family holiday? Booking.com surveyed 22,000 kids around the world and I want to ask you guys the same question. What are the most important things on a holiday? Nate? Pool. Oh, pool, yeah. Why? Wi-Fi! Yes. <laughs> Bouncy beds! Ah. We're not testing that out. No. no. <laughs> Adding key words will help us narrow down the destination we want, then whittle down the accommodation options. There are more than a million choices on booking.com. For us, Copthorne Pie here fits the bill. Booking.com survey found that many kids love having a hotel room bigger than their own at home. Come on! Come on. And comfy beds are important. How on earth are we going to test that out? Bouncy reading, 9 out of 10. Top of the list for young teens though was internet. The majority of kids aged 12 to 15 said a strong Wi-Fi connection is essential. Kids my age are much more social. Whatever. Staying near a pool or cool water slide was a top priority for 73% of 5 to 11 year olds. 42% love making new friends. For both age groups, a beach was high on the wish list. Booking in advance will ensure you get a beachfront table and beautiful historic Russell. Great for selfies, having the chance to take cool photos for social media was important to nearly half the teens surveyed. The beach at Tetsi Bay is a great place for fish and chips. 32% of kids loved having food not normally allowed at home and the local seagulls are just so friendly. <laughs> I'm not doing that again! 10% of young kids expect vacation staff to be good at telling jokes. Hey, what's black and white and black and white and black and white? A penguin rolling down a hill. <laughs> good job, Amelia. Waitangi's Treaty Grounds provided us with an activity we can't do at home. Important to more than half the kids surveyed. Paihia's kayak cruises also fits that brief. When you're on your knees, just keep your hands on the pedal nice and short again. Just do nice short strokes. This is a great place to learn stand-up paddle boarding. Getting close to cormorants along the way, an added bonus. Then, of course, that waterfall. It's Saturday Fall! <laughs> we paddle for home with the sun setting behind us and when it's dark, the lights come on. Thanks for helping plan our family holiday booking.com. That looks tremendous. Some really yeah. interesting findings in that survey too. Yeah, really handy when you're planning your family getaway. So have a look at the uh, statistics they came up with. The younger kids really loved water play on holiday, whether it's a pool or a slide or a beach nearby. More than half wanted really cool activities nearby. Even better if they got to stay up past their bedtime as well. Oh, yeah. And uh, they're really social. They really love making new friends on holiday as well. Absolutely, and staying up late for bedtime, that's a good one. Yeah. What about the older kids that were surveyed? Well, of course, the older kids kids like Wi-Fi, that yeah. was the number one thing that they found. But after that they really agreed with their younger siblings, so they loved the beach, the pool, water play, and they also loved activities nearby as well, and social media rounded out the top five of the findings for the older kids. Wow, things have changed, haven't they? Yeah, they have. Some really quirky findings too though, like um, being able to eat things that you're not allowed to eat at home, most yeah. type of things, that's so true. Yes, uh, and don't tell my kids, but a third of the respondents wanted all the ice cream that they could eat on holiday, but I didn't let the kids 
know that. <laughs> That's the thing because you say like, just go crazy, kids, yep. eat all the ice cream, but yep. you didn't let your kids do that. No. Oh, what a mean Sorry. mum. No. Uh, you mentioned too there's more than a million accommodation options on Booking.com. Yeah, and more than four and a half thousand of those are right here in New Zealand. So you've got all the accommodation options, you've got the reviews, and that survey as well. Really handy to go to Booking.com to plan your next holiday. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. I think a lot of us are already planning our next holiday Good. after just coming back from the, the latest holiday that we've had. <laughs> yes. You've got to do that, don't you? You have to sort of overlap them slightly. Great stuff. Thank you so much, Debbie. Uh, we will see you again next week.